Oh my God. <clears throat> Let me tell you, I don't even know how it's like anymore. <laughs> this feels so, so weird. Like, am I really doing this? Am I back? Is this me sitting in front of the camera again? Trying to do YouTube? Should I start my intro? Should I do my welcome back? It's been so long. Oh my God. I don't know what to say really but i'm not gonna dwell on the past because i'm here now and we're doing what we gotta do all right okay welcome back guys welcome back Phew, it's been too long um when i finally decided that i was gonna do this again i thought to myself you know what let me ease into it so you know once in a while i've been putting up you know stories you know stories i put up on instagram you know reels i just put it on it and then i think i recorded one video um i had recorded one video in 2020 and then i didn't post it because at some point during my youtube journey i started having insecurities and then i stopped posting so it wasn't like um one of those um i just got tired of youtube and i'm like no you know what it's not paying off no for me it was a fact that I, I thought I was doing myself um, um, a great thing by looking at, you know, already made brands on YouTube and then trying to see what they were doing right. But along the line, um, something creeped in. It's one, you know, just one tiny insecurity creeped in and it just grew, unfortunately, into, you know, an earthquake. Um, so at after me looking at them, I started saying, oh my God, um, I don't think I'm cut out for YouTube. I don't think I'm good enough. I don't think this is what, you know, they need because um, I don't even have the right camera. I don't have the right lighting. I don't have the right background. I don't have this. That's how it started. So, you know, I was always constantly trying to improve. Yes, which is good. But in the midst of me trying to improve, I didn't even realize when I had to stop and then grow. I didn't realize that it was a process and they started like some of them started like nine ten years ago now this is me just wanting to start now and then blow not to say that that doesn't happen that has happened before but like you have to look at the niche you have to look at your target market your audience who you're trying to sell, um talk to grow a community with I say sell because that's all I do on Instagram. <laughs> you guys know I have like, um, I have a business um, on Instagram. I have a fashion business. So, you know, that's what I'm constantly trying to do. But I really feel like I'm much more than BB Ray, the brand. And that I am much more than Besire the nurse. And that was one of the reasons why I started YouTube. I felt like when I started, I felt like I had I had it in me to do YouTube. But then I realized that when you first start something, it takes people um, quite a while for them to, you know, for you to grow on people, for you to build a community. And I wanted instant success. So that didn't work out because, you know, I kept looking at the watch hours. Oh my God, how many subscribers do I have now? How many this? Oh my God, it takes forever to grow. So people started and they had, you know, 1,000 subscribers. Why, why is it so hard for me to grow subscribers? And instead of me enjoying the journey, trusting the process, I got caught up. And, you know, after a while, I just, you know, insecurities, like I said. And that was how YouTube died for me. <laughs> So I'm um, not promising anything, but because I actually enjoyed the whole YouTube thing, I enjoyed doing videos, I enjoyed researching for what to talk about, I enjoyed you know sitting in front of the camera. I particularly like to talk. I do not like to listen to the sound of my voice. <laughs> I don't like to, but I like to talk. Um, which some people would say, really, she talks because um at work i don't talk when i go to work i'm very mm, yes okay i mean i smile to some people but for the majority of um the shifts i'm by myself so um i'm a different person at work but um i think i like to talk and you know i like to i like to flow i like to catch coups if you get what i mean I particularly love music and I also love to dance. Those are the things that I know that I love to do. 
like I, the things i love to do fashion shopping window shopping dressing or playing dress up dancing Ugh, I, let me tell you back in the day like when i was in you know university like i could dance all night long i once had a competition with one renowned now nigerian um dancer like i was going back to but that's how bad i was <laughs> i love to dance and i have the energy for it like i tell people like if you want me to lose weight don't tell me to go to the gym to go carry dumbbells i will not do it but like tell me to dance non-stop like come back and say there's dancing let's go i will lose weight <laughs> that's how much i love dancing so i actually like the entertainment um industry um another story true story i used to be a presenter also um in nigeria so I did it for i think um a season or two seasons i did it for two seasons which is a year i did it for a year and i loved it because you know they say the camera loves me so that i have the you know the effizy and everything the camera loves so so yeah i think and i think that's how my daughter took after me from there i don't know maybe did she take after me or her dad because her dad also happens to be someone that is you know it is a smooth talker like it can hold its audience it can hold its ground so anyways i digress back to youtube i wanted to do this video in 2022 i needed you know how you've not done something for so long and you feel like people are gonna judge you like where have you been like you're not serious i've had that in me even when i realized that i didn't need the um ten thousand dollar camera i didn't need to have the best background and background not that it won't help but like when i realized that it was supposed to be a step-by-step -step process fear you know uh, no fear um shame shame catch me shame catch me and it won't make me start so i said you know what i need to break this jinx 2022 i'm going to sit in front of a camera and i'm gonna do this and that's why i'm here now i didn't want a new year resolution i don't think new year resolution works for me my new year resolution i, I feel like what works for me is when i say i'm gonna do it now and i do it immediately not saying i'm gonna do it now and then waiting once i wait i lose my my head has it's gone somewhere else but when i say i'm gonna do it now and i start it now and i you know in between starting it now I like to plan as I go different ways, whatever works for you, whatever rocks your boat. So anyways, this is me 2022, December 23rd, I'm back to you, YouTube. <laughs> so tell somebody to tell somebody that I'm back. Honestly. I'm back! <laughs> I'm so excited because I don't know. I feel like I've lost so much about, um, I don't know how things work. I don't even think I can edit anymore, but I'm so pumped up to want to, you know, learn to get back and, you know, phew, shake it up. Okay. So, um, thank you very much for having this little tete-a-tete -tete with me. I will see you next time. When I see you next time, I'm going to be talking about what's been happening. Because I'm, I'm sure you want to know what's been happening. I mean, I know some people see me online. But really, do I really put things that have been happening like that? But I feel like with you guys, I can talk. And if I if you don't feel like I should talk, I can stop. But like, I feel like I should talk. Or, you know, you get what I mean? Anyways, I'll see you. Happy holidays. Love you guys.